this is a far cry from uh, the Joe Martin stage race. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a very much different type of racing here, you know, like the heat's so much different and like the parkour is different and also it's a pro level race. So just like, yeah, stoked to be here, but you know, like still stoked to go to race in Joe Martin. Got like a few presents there, so we stoked to go there too. You know, obviously this is a this is a great race, and and Canadians have done quite well here. I think off yeah. the top of my head, most recently Adam DeVos has done quite well. Yeah. Another uh, uh, Tour de Vos great uh, yeah. as well. Uh, talk to me about what makes this race so special, and and how hard it is to, especially for a Canadian, to acclimatize to this sweltering heat. Yeah, I think what especially this year makes the race so special is actually the 25th anniversary of this race. So the first two days we had two, like two uh, plane transfers, and now today we had a boat transfer. So it's like very rare as kind of like a a continental team to like be transferring that much on a race on a stage race. So it's like something that we'll, I'll be able to share stories about that, you know, and like it, yeah, and acclimatizing to this heat. There's not really much I could do because I'm coming from living in BC right now. So it's more I just kind of shock to the system. I do a bit of hot yoga, so that's I'm thinking that helps me a little bit, but I don't really know. I don't think there's much I can do. If anything, a little bit of a mental placebo, yeah, so exactly, to speak. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, talk to me. You know, Silver Racing, then Floyd's yeah. Racing, and now of course Wildlife Generation. Talk to me about the the changes and and what racing for Wildlife Generation means to you, yeah. and and just what you can expect or we can expect from you in 2020. Yeah, you know, like I was on Silver for a while and that was an under 23 specific Canadian team and that had a very, you know, young young kind of vibe to it. And when I went to Floyd's, it was a much older vibe with a lot of experience and a lot of guys who had like a bunch of good results. But that actually really helped me shape myself as a rider. And now kind of coming back to an under 25 American team, I feel like I kind of like help all these kind of younger guys or even guys my age, but I just feel like I have a little bit more experience than them sometimes where I can kind of portray what I've learned from Floyd's and that sort of stuff and like from guys like Johnny Clark and Travis McCabe just kind of really kind of grooming me into like the rider I am now and, and I think this year like with the opportunity we got here with these guys I think especially wildlife this year we have a good chance of really getting some like results in America especially coming off like an, a 10 it will be 10 days in a row of racing here so like coming off that early February like by Redlands, Joe Martin, like we were kind of joking about, like we'll be ripping, you know? And, and will we see you guys at California or at Utah or? Yeah, unfortunately there's no California this year, but we'll, we'll be at Redlands and then we'll be at Utah, of course, you know, representing. But yeah, and, I, and especially to have, like, like I said, kind of this big of a stage race early, it doesn't put such a shock on the system to have like Utah it doesn't seem as big you know what I mean? Because it's still the same a pro level race, right? And, and what kind of results did you, are you looking for most, you know, for 2020 and, and on your upcoming program, at least in the, in the short term? Yeah, like I would love to like win overall of a, like a few like the American kind of 2.2s. I think uh, last year I kind of showed like off of like not like a big off season. I showed potential overall at Redlands and at Joe Martin, I think this year with this this race earlier that I think I could really win those races and then a perfect world would be able to win a stage at Utah or something like that and really just help me step up. You know, in North America, there hasn't been a lot in recent years, a lot of Canadians or Americans for that matter, stepping up to the world tour. Right. Uh, what do you think needs to be done and what, what, what do you feel like you need to do to, to make that next jump? Right, I think what needs to be done is like, is you can see it's slowly starting. We have like the Israel Startup Nation and they're run by a uh, Sylvan Adams, he's a Canadian there, so that's we you've seen like a few Canadians kind of go there. But as like Canada seems so big, but yet in the world tour scheme is very small. So it's kind of just like having those connections at the race, at like the different teams. But cycling is so hard to like hop on those different teams. It's like getting a job, you know. So just creating those small connections and like even if you're here, kind of just talking to the right people, you know. But. Yeah, like I'm not, I'm not, I know, I don't, I think it'd be amazing to have another team like back in the day of like Spire Tech or something like that because there is such a depth of talent in Canada. It's just almost sometimes they hit a glass wall that we see that we could potentially move up to the next thing, but we just, we need that kind of like that team to get us to the next le level. We have rally and stuff like that, but it's predominantly American, but 
we'll see like what maybe hopefully another pro content team like something like Aspire Tech comes around one day. Well, it's great to see you and yeah. Wildlife Generation here in Lane yeah, Cowie and you. looking forward to a great 2020. Yeah, thank you so much.